background track, we've got a photo in, and we're now ready to put this project onto our phone, for example, or onto YouTube. So, I'm going to go to the share menu and I'm going to choose export podcast to disk and yes I want to use all those settings so I'll click export it's going to ask me where and we're going to take a shortcut by putting it on the desktop and I noticed that earlier when I was typing the file name in I left off the first letter so here's a chance to put it in so I'll click save so at this stage it's mixing down those multiple tracks because it doesn't matter where we play it the player can only handle one track at a time so it's combining the main voice track the background music track and those titles track and in a moment it's finished and so I'm going to go up here to the yellow button to minimize this window and I'll click on that and I'll just close this window by clicking on the red button and over here we should find, here it is, the podcast we've just made and it's an M4A file and I'm just going to grab it and drag it over here to the dock where I've got QuickTime Pro and that's going to be very helpful, there it is. So what we're going to do is redo that bit and I'm going to choose export. Uh, we want movie to 3G even though it's a podcast 3G is what's important because that's the format for phones and I'm going to choose desktop here so that it's easier for us to see and I'm going to click save so it's exporting it now into the format that places like phones can play I'm just going to click on the desktop and here's our movie. I'll just go click click on it and it's ready to play on a phone. Answers to key human rights questions. Who are asylum seekers and refugees? So I'll click stop because we can see it works. I'm going to go to quit quick time play because we don't need that but I'm going to go up here because we want to use Bluetooth and on this computer it's not on so I'll choose turn Bluetooth on if you don't have this icon in the top of the screen you should go to the go menu and you should scroll down to utilities and select that and here's Bluetooth now then I'll just close that window because Bluetooth is on and I'm going to choose in the Bluetooth menu send file it's going to ask me which file and here it is Michael 26 October 3GP that's the one I'll choose it and I'll click send now on this computer it will go away and find all the devices that are handy that could work I've named my phone so I'll click on Michael and yes I've asked it to remember so I'm now going to click send so it's getting ready now to find uh, my phone and there's a big problem because I haven't got Bluetooth turned on so I need to go to settings I need to choose connectivity I need to choose Bluetooth I need to choose setup and I need to choose power off it is at the moment so I'll choose change so it's now on it's powering on thank you very much and I think I also have to tell it to find me or discover me so I just click, choose that and on my phone it's just said discoverable so I'm now going to click um, send and here we go with a bit of luck it will send that file here we are now on my phone it's uh, it says there's an incoming transfer do I want to accept it so I'm going to say yes so here we go it's sending that file 
from the computer to the phone and since it's going to take a few moments let me just say that once it's sent from the computer to a phone you can send the podcast to lots of other phones by sending it phone to phone. It does not always have to be sent from the computer that it was designed on. And that's highlighting one of the benefits of Bluetooth. It's fast and it's free and most teenagers know all about it. So we as teachers don't need to worry about teaching it. So there you go. Success. Remember to choose store. And remember where you store it. Enjoy making podcasts. Goodbye.